shades in uh, Honeybee. In previous assignments, we asked you to um, assign windows using this window to wall ratio um, component. And if you remember, what this did is it um, would assign by orientation. So the first one is north, then east, then south, then west. And so on the east side here, if I wanted to decrease the window to wall ratio, I could do so and it would um, interactively reduce the size of the windows. You can see on the west side, um, they are still larger. So this is a 30% or this on the west is a 60% window to wall ratio and on the right on the east side is 30% window to wall ratio. So that's great and um, it is a handy way of quickly iterating through uh, different design possibilities but it doesn't give you a, uh, or allow you to specifically locate any of the windows and I wanted to show you how to do that as you refine your studio projects and start to come up with the exterior elevations and fenestration patterns and etc. So the way this worked is that this component or the, this the honeybee object is passed along so from rooms to honeybee objects through the window to wall ratio through to the skylight uh, ratio and then the honeybee objects comes out there and then goes over here which plugs into the ideal air system and onward. Um, what we're going to do is to bypass both the window to wall ratio and the skylight ratio. So we're going to take it directly from this output and plug into this component, which is to add a subsurface and then out from the HP objects there into this component here. And as we do it, notice that our facade changed because this window to wall ratio was unplugged, this guy. Um, and now we're seeing the uh, subsurface added to the group. That subsurface is customized and the, the controlling geometry here is this geometry here that I've input. And I would strongly suggest that you make a new one of these for each uh, orientation just so you can keep track of them by orientation. So you can copy the group and then uh, paste them in. I would make, make sure that you're, you have a new geometry though. So this geometry has been internalized. I can clear the values like that and it's gonna give me an error of course because now I don't have any geometry. Um, second I plug that in, it's gonna disappear because now I have an error. But what, um, you should know about creating new windows is that you can do pretty much anything you want except that your window must be coplanar with the exterior wall and the second rule is that the window cannot extend to an edge of the wall uh, and a third rule is that the normals from the surface must face out. So three rules. And to show you these uh, or how to deal with them, I'm going to, um, I am going to um, show you, I'm gonna just bake the walls here so that I have them in, the, in my, um, In my rhino model i'm going to make this shaded so i can see it better and there's my wall my mesh that resulted it's kind of messed up but it doesn't really matter because all i need really need this for is to make sure that whatever windows i add to this are added coplanar to this volume to these walls and not at the edges of the walls so i can come over here and um make sure that I am snapping using the vertex. I'm going to just make sure this is in the same plane. And so that's the same plane as the underlying surface. And then I can make this any dimension that I want. It, it must, again, it must, must, must extend in from the edges. I cannot touch the edge. Um, and if I wanted to have an exact uh, size, I can scale 1D um, from the corner. 
Uh, so say I wanted this to be uh, one meter wide and I want it to be two meters tall. I can do like that. And then I can um, array these or, um, whoops, I want to make sure it's coplanar again. Um, I can drag them using the gumball. I could also um, make them smaller or in a different location, etc. So I'm going to take these guys and select them all. I'm going to go to that new component I just made. I'm going to set multiple geometries here. And now um, I can actually delete this geometry. And you should see, I'm going to internalize this and then delete these and you'll see that they continue to show up and uh, because they are now part of the um, energy plus geometry the honeybee geometry uh, and if i go back over to this attributes and visualize it i can see that this is visualizing those as blue surfaces which means that they're windows i can also in, um, visualize these using this label faces and setting the subfaces to true. And now I can actually see that each one of these is assigned a, a unique identifier. And um, it's a nice handy way of keeping track of these if you ever need to. Uh, this automatically done. I can also uh, assign these, you know, I can name them myself if I want to but it's a helpful way of starting to um, identify the different parts of the building and make sure that they were done um, correctly. So um, yeah, create one of these groups for each orientation and uh, connect it in here. You'll see I've already got two. I don't even remember now if I connect this, where does it show up? Oh, it's on the west side. Um, yeah. So make your own for the west, make your own for the south, the north, the east, etc. And um, just copy as many as you need. Same for the roof. You can add them in the roof as well. So that's how you make custom window geometry. And when you simulate this, you should simulate, once, once you simulate it, this will be your new baseline. In other words, previously you did whatever the window to wall ratio was that your partner used in the last iteration to make sure that you could get the same results that they did, which you should have. But now you're gonna start departing from what your partner did because you're gonna have your own geometry, a window geometry, your own window to wall ratio, um, and so this will be a new baseline. Um, this will be this glazing geometry number one. And so you should probably also change this to just change the name of your run and then hit simulate and um, let it run. Check your warnings and severe errors. Make sure you have no severe errors. If you do have severe errors, contact me. Um, and then come over to here and check out your results. The results are going to show four numbers now. Um, that is going to be your heating, cooling, lighting, and equipment. And I want you to copy all of these using this copy data only to the Excel spreadsheet. The Excel spreadsheet is going to visualize just the heating and cooling, but you'll see later on in this exercise, we're going to be looking at the lighting energy as well. So I want you to keep track of that as you go. Okay, that's it for this time. Uh, and in the next session, I will show you how to change some of the properties of your glazing to uh, examine the role of sun and solar penetration. Mm -hmm.